This video is intended to give you a general overall understanding of how to perform certain adjustments or replacement procedures related to the steering system. This video is intended to be used as an additional reference by mechanics who are trained to repair and service steering systems on commercial vehicles. Prior to making the repair, please refer to the appropriate service manual for additional information. Take all necessary precautions to ensure both the safety of you and others around you. If you are not sure how to properly perform a procedure, please contact an authorized ULT certified technician. This educational video will show you a quick and easy way to change the input shaft seal on a TRW steering box. First, locate the input shaft seal on the TRW steering box. We're going to demonstrate how to pop out the seal versus picking it out so you don't damage the gearbox. Verify the return line on the steering gearbox. The return line is always located highest or closest to the input shaft and is marked with the letter R. The pressure line is located further back and is marked with the letter P. Remove the return line. Install a plug at the base of the return line. Before removing the steering column, make sure that the wheels are in a straightforward position and center the steering wheel. This will help ensure the steering column is reinstalled in the correct position, especially for steering gears without a master spline assembly. Remove the steering shaft. Remove the dust boot shield. Clean out the area with cleaning solvent and shop air to expose the snap ring. Pick one corner of the snap ring out so it can be easily removed. Before you get ready to pop out the seal, double check and make sure the steering wheel column is disconnected, the snap ring is removed, the return line is capped off, and that there is oil in the steering reservoir. Option one, if you're going to pick out the seal, you need to buy a specialty tool that precisely fits over the input shaft lines and up a drill bit hole. So you can pierce the seal and use a pick to remove it. Once the seal is drilled out, you insert a screw in the drill hole and then use a side cutter to pry the seal out. Option two, to easily pop the seal out, simply cover the input shaft with a shop towel. This will prevent oil splash back. Also, secure the shaft end with a pair of vice grips. Turn the vehicle on so the system is under pressure and the seal should pop right out. Now that the seal is removed, inspect the cavity area to make sure that the seal surface area is clean of any debris. The replacement seal kit includes one seal, a snap ring, and various sizes of dust boot shields. Verify the dust boot shield that properly fits over the input shaft assembly that you are working on. Make sure to use a seal installation tool. This tool will ensure the seal is installed to the correct depth, so the snap ring can be easily reinstalled. Additionally, it will prevent possible damage to the steering box side cover. If the side cover is damaged, you will need to replace the entire steering gearbox. Using the seal installation tool, install the seal. Now install the snap ring and make sure it's secured in place. Fill the cavity up with the proper grease. Install the proper size dust boot shield. Before reinstalling the steering column, make sure to put the wheels in the straightforward position and center the steering wheel. This will help ensure the steering column is reinstalled in the correct position, especially for steering gears without a master spline assembly. Reinstall the steering column and torque it to OE specifications.